So this is Temple Run 2 by Imangi Studios. Um, this game is written in Unity and uses Unity's IL2 CPP technology where it keeps all the strings in a separate file named global metadata dot dot. Um, when you disassemble the uh, executable you can't find any relevant reference names so to reverse engineer it uh, we're going to use uh, IL2CPP dumper by Perfair and you can find that tool on GitHub. Um, after we use the dumper it generates uh, um, the strings, it generates a, a Python file that is a, an IDA script and we can import that uh, script uh, into IDA and then uh, it will resolve all the function names and variable names and so on. Um, and once we do that uh, it's the usual routine so we're going to use LLDB In LLDB we need to calculate our delta offset so that we can uh, reference memory locations because of iOS's uh, ASLR. In this case it's going to be 1B000. In uh, in that uh, Python script that the dumper generated, I found some interesting um, function names. One of them is called um, a word currency, and this is basically the function that we're going to exploit. I set the breakpoint on that function. Here, the debugger breaks again. And in register R2, we have the number of coins that we collected during our run. So we're just going to overwrite that uh, value with, with whatever we like. Uh, and then the R1 register is uh, to indicate the type of currency that the function uh, is supposed to add to the stored data. So uh, if R1 register contains a zero, then it will add regular coins, which is what you collect uh, during your game run normally. However, if we change that to a one, if the value in R1 is going to be a one, then it will add gems. So. Um, here I'm just going to bump up the number of my gems. There is some conditional jumps in the code, so if the number of coins or the number of uh, currency that the player collected is greater than one, then it calls the function. And the function is called player stats award currency. So I'm just overwriting the value in the R2 register, which holds the number of uh, items that we want, the number of coins that we want. And I just put an arbitrary number in there. I changed the R1 register to one. Uh, this way it will give us gems. And I'm just going to do the same thing one more time. And this way just get some um, some regular coins. And that will that will pretty much be it. Same thing, I'm just trying to get the debugger to break once again at the same function. <coughs> I kind of messed up here. I was trying to put 424242 as the amount of um, coins, but uh, 
I didn't calculate it properly as uh, in regards to the amount that I had already. So I think I had like 171 coins and then I had to subtract that from uh, 424242. That's what I wanted to add. Yeah. That's 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 kind of that's kind of it. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.